All right, 4,606 Hong Kong dollars plus nine, 9,660 to fix my little camera body, um, RX. What's this one? Um, the A7R Mark II and the 24-2 F2.8. It says it's here somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, actually, don't think it does. Anyway, kind of expensive, I think. Anyway, that's part of the cost of running a photography business. And the camera comes packaged like this when you get it back from the hospital. So um, yeah, it comes in a little body bag. So uh, yeah, glad that's all fixed. Now I've got my uh, lens back though. I might think of selling it. Better pack all this stuff away. Um, yeah, have a look at the have a look at the uh, service desk while I put this stuff away. Now it's on to test uh, some lenses on this body. So um, yeah, if you're just joining us, we're at the Sony store in Hong Kong, Causeway Bay, the main one, which has a has a customer customer service center. There we are, and uh, just got my stuff fixed. So uh, now we're going to go test out some lenses and see if I can use the in-camera body stabilization. Uh, where are they? Where'd they go? The in-camera body stabilization uh, on the new Sony uh, A7 Mark IV. Where'd that lens go? It was here before. Ah, oh, here it is. So our first thing we're going to try is the SEL. SEL. Oh, it's on manual focus from before. I hope it wasn't on manual focus. Oh, no, I changed it when I was going to do the outro. Yes. That's why I wasn't focusing. Okay, I'm going to try out the uh, SEL 1018, the 10 to 18 APS-C lens. See if I can get gyro stabilization on it. It's this thing, super light. Uh, it'd be really nice if gyro worked on it. So, um, Gonna do a li little lens swap now. All right, now we're on the, um, yes, the me lens I just mentioned, the 10 to 18 SEL Sony F4 APS-C lens. And I've disabled the, uh, what did I disable? Oh, I can't go in the menus now. Anyway, um, I've made it, forced it to go at full frame. You can see a bit of vignetting uh, on 10 millimeter, but if I creep it in, we'll go 12. It's actually quite usable. Look at that. That'll give me quite... Look at that. Look at the edges. Not too bad. It's on autofocus, right? Yeah. And then, okay, 14. Um, yep, that looks good. Not too much vignetting. It actually shows right to the edges. 16. That's quite usable, too. And then 18 is also okay. A little bit of vignetting in the corners, but actually that's not an issue at all because uh, if the gyro works on this, we'll be able to stabilize all that out. Question is, will it work? Um, so th we're back at 12, 10, but 10 millimeters on the full frame. And actually, okay, I wouldn't use 10, maybe 12 would work, but then if we're on 12, that's 10, that's 12. We could also go the uh, the F4 full frame 12, but um, this might just work and it's so much lighter. So, okay, oh, this is actually attached by a little tether, so I can't really walk around that much, but um, we can test out a bit of the stabilization now. Um, at the 12 millimeter, stabilizing at 12, okay, and at 10, seeing if it stabilizes well at 10. I want to see my face, so um, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Sound is working, yes, sounds working. 10 millimeter and um, 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter. Um, and yeah, if the gyro, if it can read the gyro, 
data off the lens. Um, that will be a really good blogging camera, a super light. So, uh, lens, I mean lens. Uh, let's change the aperture a bit. Okay, we're on 200 shutter speed. And does it, the vignetting get better? F22, 18, 10, 6.3, 5, 4 on 12, on 12 mil settings. So actually changing the aperture doesn't change the vignetting much. Um, I'll probably shoot it wide open if I get this lens. In, back on the, um, back on the 10, do a bit of a walk, bit of a dolly. This is at 10 and 12. If I got this, I'd probably use it at these. I don't really care about the, uh, the less wide angle, like the 14, or well, I might as well test it. The 14 looks like this. Do a bit of walking. 16. And we're on 18. So um, yeah, if this looks nice and stable, that means it worked. If it doesn't, um, I'll probably leave a note uh, saying if it could stabilize it. Hopefully I, when I load this up, I can see the little icon. Um, and then, yeah, this would be a viable lens. This is the one I had on before. Uh, my Sony 16 to 35 F4, um, which I will swap at now, but I think if I swap it, it's gonna cut the recording. So let's see if that happens. Okay, um, there's no mic. Uh, just doing a very quick one. Uh, hopefully the camera can pick up most of the sound because it's got decent on board audio. Um, I'm actually doing some smule practice while I'm loading the uh, files. Look, it's rendering this one file. Um, I can't see the screen. Oh, now I can. Uh, it's rendering this file, trying to stabilize it in Catalyst Browse, but I took the lens off at the end, um, so I couldn't actually stabilize it. Here, I looked up online and it says, um, uh, okay, uh, 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 Clip stabilization is not supported when changing camera settings or detaching the lens during clip recording. Um, actually, it's pretty well documented, so um, that's a good one. I, I wouldn't have figured out why it wouldn't stabilize it, but it got to 99%, and then it stopped, and then um, gave me an error, and then that's exactly when I took the lens off, because um, it stops recording. It stops the recording when, um, when you take the lens off. So, um... Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't do too many clips of that, um, the main lens I wanted to, to test on, which was the 10-18 um, the to f4 APS-C Sony one. I did another one at the end, and that one did stabilize, so um, it was like a focus test. So we can, we can confirm it works, uh, but sadly we don't get to uh, see how well it um, stabilized, although the one at the end did. I did move the camera quite a lot. So, uh, yeah, it's not the end of the world. Um, probably good enough, but uh, yeah, now we know that don't take off the uh, lens when you're recording. Um, otherwise, you can't stable it, stabilize it, it at the end. Um, so, yeah, a good tip to know. Anyway, back to the video and back to the Sony store. And now I just stuck the uh, 12-24G, the F4 on, um, 14K Hong Kong. The other one that's viable is the this one, the G Master F2.8 of the same focal length, 12-24. to um, It's getting quite heavy. I don't know if I want to carry that around or not. Probably the F4 will do, but anyway, let's see if this works. 12 mil. Uh, this should work. It's native Sony. Don't see why it wouldn't. Um, and feels weight-wise, it's about the same as the uh, 16 to 35. So uh, possibly an upgrade. However, uh, you don't, you can't put a um, filter on that lens where you can on this one. I'd like to have a, a UV filter just to protect the lens. Uh, sometimes want to put an ND there or a polarizer so um another consideration or I could keep this one and get both of them I don't know 
It's like I wish I had I wish I had more money. I wish I, I wish I was sponsored. In fact, I am the sponsor. I'm the one paying Sony, so I'm there. Wish that more people watch this channel. But anyway, this is the test channel. Um, cool. So this is the F4. Uh, 12 millimeter, um, full frame. Next, let's test out the G Master 2.8 for fun. But look at the price. I mean, I actually, I don't get anything for free. I pay for it. Good thing, I, good thing I'm professional. I actually can earn money and can afford to do this. 14K, 22K, probably get it less outside. Um, but yeah, let's try them out. Okay, um, now we're on the G Master at 12, 2.8, uh, 14. I mean, it's not that much heavier. It's a much better lens. Um, decisions, decisions. Uh, much bigger too at the front. Also, no way to put in uh, any sort of filters that I can see. Maybe the back you can put filters. Sometimes you can, but doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it at all. Um, sometimes you can drop a filter at the back, but I don't think you can. Anyway, uh, yeah, big and heavy and expensive lens. Probably pretty sharp. 12 mil, 14 mil, 16, 18, 21, and 24. Um, yeah, quite good, and it should stabilize fine. Um, don't know if I want to pay more and uh, carry this, but uh, yeah, those are the options. And um, here we go, it's the same lens. This one is now selling for 10,490. It's the Zeiss one, that's the one I had before. Um, been shooting a lot with it. Uh, the difference between 16 and 12 is basically that's 12. That's 16, that's 12, that's 16. Um, and less when it's stabilized, so, because you've got to crop in a bit. So um, let's do that again. So 16, 12, 16, 12. Um, like a, a little bit of a jump, 14, 16. So I uh, don't know if I want to spend 21, 22K or another 14K to do this, to do this, to this. But maybe I do, I don't know, I can probably sell that, but it's a pretty scratched up lens. I've had it, I've had this lens forever. It's like one of the, I had this when I bought the A7R Mark I. Um, it's not too bad, let's see how much I can get for it. The, uh, yeah. Depends how much I can get for it. Anyway, that's the little test. And I'm um, looking forward to see if I can stabilize the lens there and uh, use that as a cheap, cheaper alternative for uh, blogging. All right. Um, also, I should test out the autofocus of this lens because uh, I need it to be quite snappy when I'm doing uh, blogging. So. This is a test for autofocus at 12 millimeter. Can it focus? Can it focus? Boom. 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 All right. Um, this is this lens here, the 10 to 28 APS-C, um, which has a zoom uh, there. Can't see it because of the shadow, but that's it. Can it focus? Who knows? We'll, we'll find out. Wobbly corners! Yes, that's what happens if you use a fisheye lens and try to do the Sony in-body gyro stabilization. Gyro, not the IBIS. There's a difference there. Um, now I found that out. That's why I do these tests. Alright, I'd show you, but I'm still rendering this file. Oh, um, not focusing. Uh, there you go. I'm on the, I'm on the 24 to 70 f4 now. Um, 20% rendering. I'd show you, but uh, this thing is very, very slow, this computer. I ordered the new MacBook, the I 
M1 Max. Um, yeah, it's not going to play back. It's not going to play back very smoothly. I don't know if you can see it wobbling. Let me see, let me see. I can't even scrub through this, it's so slow. Okay, here, here. Maybe you. Yeah, let's see. Uh, no, it's playing back like two frames a second. Just go back to the previous video or whatever, um, and then you can find it. Um, so, uh, yes. This was the lens I was trying to use. Uh, this one. It is the combination of the Sony um, Sony SEL 28F 2O plus the SEL 057FEC, the Cell 57 FAC, and the Cell 2820. Um, anyway, yes, uh, that doesn't work because uh, the noobs at Sony don't recognize it's a uh, fisheye and they don't correct for the fisheye curvature which means when they stabilize it it's thinking it's flat and then uh, makes it all wobble because the curvature is in the middle um, we should fix that it's quite fixable because um, yeah Insta360 use fisheye lenses and they stabilize really really nicely um, and there's a few well there's yeah there's a few Insta360 Go 2 uh, blogs on this here channel um, what else have I got? Uh, this doesn't work either. Uh, Samyang, it's the it's just a Samyang um, manual focus wide angle. It's a 14 mil, so quite wide, but it doesn't have the contacts there. Um, I'd like to see uh, Brandon Lee of um, what's it called got it working, but my one doesn't have the uh, contacts here. See, it's just straight. It's like an adapter, but it's stuck on the lens. It's a it's not a native Sony lens, but it's got that permanent adapter. Um, it is the uh, EDASIF UMC by Samyang, also known as Rokinon in some places. And this is the one that works best. So I'm going to switch it from this lens, which is the 24 to 70 f4, to the uh, 16 mil because I want the wide angle when I'm walking to 35. Um, I'm heading to the Sony store to pick up my uh, patients, uh, well actually the Sony hospital, uh, to pick up my patients, the uh, A7R Mark II body which has gone in for a fix, and my um, 28, 24 to 70 2.8 which has gone for a very expensive fix, it's almost 6,000 Hong Kong dollars to fix that lens, I'm really upset, um, shouldn't break that easy, um, but yeah it's broken and now uh, needs a fix. Oh, oh yeah, recording. I get paranoid. Yes, it is recording. Wish they'd put the tally light on the front. I guess the flippy screen has the red box, but yes. Um, there's a light on the screen, but it doesn't work as the tally light on this model. It does on the blogging camera, which they discontinued because they can't get enough chips, apparently. Um, it's kind of annoying. I wish it had that little red light so I wouldn't get paranoid. I mean, this is a 2000... $500 US body paid an extra $500 for the memory card and plus the lenses themselves cost at least a thousand so like I'm paying almost four well actually about four to five thousand dollars for a camera and they couldn't put a little red LED light on it um come on Sony you can do better than that good thing they don't pay me or anything I just use their stuff because I find them decent enough um, like pretty much I'm the sponsor of this channel okay anyway so um yeah I'm gonna go to the Sony store and probably check out a few other lenses that might be very good for this setup so I'm gonna bring this along you can come along for the ride uh, I'll practice my blogging on the way I'll practice being in front of camera which I'm actually getting a bit better at I think so um, not as awkward anymore. It's still awkward, but um, it's not as awkward. I guess the more you do, the better you get at it. It's like public speaking. It's a skill. You, you do more, you learn, you get better at it. Um, so, yeah, the plan is I'm going to go to the Sony store and try out their 10 to 18 APS-C lens. Um, it's an F4, but I want to see if it is 
okay-ish on um, this camera body on the full frame because uh, when you stabilize it, you don't need the whole frame anyway, but you might give, you might just give you enough to stabilize it. Anyway, that's why I test. Um, don't know if it'll work. Um, found out that these don't work. Well, these don't work with the gyro stabilization. Uh, this does work. I'm going to put this on. Uh, I already said that, so you kind of already know. Um, and then I want to try out the... Uh, the F4 version of the 12 to 24, and maybe even the 2.8, but I think it's going to be a bit too expensive and a bit too uh, heavy for blogging use. I mean, F4 is good enough. In fact, when you're doing film, you, you don't want to blur out the background that much. Unlike with photography, you want to simplify, but it's kind of nice to have a little bit more of the background when you're doing film. You never see movies shot on like wide open lenses that like, f1 or even f1.4 it just doesn't look quite right it looks a bit unnatural um with it when it's film um most films are shot like 5.6 or f4 or whatever you you want to see a bit of the setting um well it always depends i mean there's a lot of films but generally they're not shot with the nice bokeh and all that stuff in the background it's more of a photography thing so anyway that's what I'm going to do today. Pay Sony more money to fix my stuff. Um, go to Causeway Bay. Um, I'm in my little, very, very messy uh, apartment slash home studio in Mongkok. Um, and yeah, going to go for a little ride on the MTR. This thing is at 22% now, so 2% rendering. That's, uh, I really need a new computer, but yeah, anyway, it's coming. It's, it's, um, Apple said it would take two months to make. Crazy, but um, be glad to upgrade from this very slow thing. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to cut the video here. Um, I will start a new video for the uh, trip, and um, yeah, I'm really glad you're watching this test channel where I get to practice being in front of camera and um, I hope you do get some value out of it. I, I decided that I'll, I'll kind of make these videos somewhat useful um, for people because uh, then I'm not just wasting your time, I'm wasting my time. Uh, I'm using time well and hopefully you get some value out of it, yes. Uh, very, very, very rambly kind of video. Um, but, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, apply the stabilization to this because I think the gyro, 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 gyro is the way to go. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to uh, put in the uh, loud rock music now and then um, put about 15 to 20 seconds of uh, B roll where uh, you can click on other videos if you do want to watch stuff like this.